Let's talk about five things that any player can do to be better in 2021. The first thing that you can do is reflect after every game. Look, good, bad, or ugly, you need to take some time and you need to think about what just transpired out there on the field. And here's the trap that most players fall into. When you just had a bad game, when you made errors in the field, when you struck out a bunch at the plate, when you went 0 for 4, you don't really want to sit there and reflect because it's painful to think about your failures. It's painful to think about your shortcomings. And so a lot of the times you just failed to do that. You'd rather just move on and put that game in the past. You know, thankfully that game's over and tomorrow's a new day. And you do need to have that mentality, but I think that you need to embrace reality first and learn from that failure. So you need to reflect after every game. That's the first trap players fall into is when things are not going well, you know, they don't want to reflect because it's painful. And then when things are going well, when you just went four for four at the plate, you're not really thinking about ways that you need to improve or you're not really thinking about what just happened because you're too busy enjoying the moment. That's a good thing, right? But you're worried about, hey, I just had a great game. Mom and dad were here. They were watching. I wonder if we're going to go out to eat after this. And you don't take the time to figure out Hey, I had a great game today, so congratulate yourself for that. You know, give yourself credit where it's due, right? Tell yourself, I had a great game. What caused me, I was just on fire at the plate today. Why? Was it that I was truly ready to hit when I stepped in the batter's box where usually I'm not really ready until the first or second pitch? Was I truly ready? Did I not get myself out? I didn't chase pitches outside the strike zone. I made this pitcher throw strikes, and so I swung at good pitches. You need to get in the habit, good, bad, or ugly, of when it's ugly, you know, you can move on from it, you can flush it in five or 10 minutes, but right after the game, think about what happened and how can I learn from this, how can I fail forward, and then when things are great, that's awesome, figure out what am I doing that's causing me to have so much success on the field so that I can replicate it in future games. So you gotta reflect, that's number one. The second thing that you can do to have a better 2021 is quit more often. And I know, hold on, I know this sounds kinda weird, but I actually learned this concept from a Navy SEAL and he talked about uh, you know, this concept of quitting and quitting more often. And I know it sounds crazy coming from a Navy SEAL, it sounds counterintuitive, because these are guys that don't quit. But what he was talking about is when he made the decision that he was gonna become a Navy SEAL. You have to go to Bud's training before you become a Navy SEAL. And he was kind of up in the air on whether or not he wanted to do it. And when he made that decision that he was gonna go to Bud's training, he quit everything in his life that didn't serve him. So in other words, you know, he really quit hanging out with his friends. He quit going to parties. He even quit dating. He didn't have any more girlfriends after that for a while. He quit, you know, eating junk food. He quit skipping his workouts. So I'm not saying to, to, to quit on the field, but what I am saying, and I'm also not saying that you need to play baseball 24-7, 365, you can't play any other sport, you can't have any fun off the field in 2021. That's not what I'm saying at all, but if baseball is a priority, and if you really have a, a, a desire to play at a high level, then you need, to, you, know, you need to think about, okay, these are my long-term goals, what do I need to quit in order to, what bad habits do I need to quit? What, what things are not serving me in my life? What habits, what routines are not serving me? And then maybe look in 2021 to cut out some of those things. So quit more often, but not in the way that you're thinking about. Quit the things that don't serve you and your long-term goals and your long-term vision. The third thing that you can do, any player can do this, set goals for every practice, okay? A common problem is I think players and people in general are way too vanilla with their goals. So you need to be intentional, you need to be specific, you need to be focused when you're going after your goals and every single day, you know, you need to set an intention for practice. So practice goals, most players, when I say vanilla, what they say is, I hope I get better today or I'm gonna have a good practice today, I'm gonna get better. And hopefully you do, hopefully you do work hard and hopefully you do improve, but what specifically are you improving? You need to think about what area of my game can I get 1% better at today? I don't need to get 10% better, just 1% better. So maybe it's I'm struggling with hitting curveballs, I'm gonna focus on, I'm gonna go early and I'm gonna stay late and I'm gonna set up the machine to spin me curveballs, I'm gonna work on hitting curveballs. And it's not to say I'm gonna neglect any other area of my game, I'm gonna run my sprints hard, I'm gonna warm up the right way, I'm gonna focus when we're doing defensive stuff and BP and all that, but in my extra time, I'm really gonna focus on curveballs, or I'm really gonna focus on the inside pitch, or the outside pitch, or swinging at good pitches, having plate discipline, 
Or as a pitcher, you know, I'm really going to focus on first pitch strikes. I'm really going to focus on keeping the ball down in the strike zone, whatever it is. Um, and it's not to say you neglect anything else in your practice, but just imagine, imagine for a second, if you got 1% better, again, not 5, not 10, not 50% better, 1% better. Imagine that if you did that today, then you did that tomorrow, and then the next day, and you did that throughout the entire season. How much better would you be at the end of the season? You'd be a transformed ball player, unrecognizable if you did that every single day. And imagine if you did that for multiple seasons. Imagine if you do this and you set daily practice goals throughout your entire career. How good are you going to be? But it all starts with you've got to be intentional. you got to be specific. You can't just have these vanilla goals. That's what everybody else does. That's what the average player does. If you want to be average, great, do that. If you don't want to be average, you got to have a plan, you got to be specific. Number four, don't just watch baseball, study baseball, okay? You always hear the term student of the game. What does that really mean? Well, I think one thing that it means is instead of just watching games on TV kind of passively and scrolling on your phone and looking at other things, or when you go to a ball game, instead of just screwing around with your buddies that are at the game with you, you know, it's important to have fun. Whether you're watching the game on TV or in person, you need to enjoy the experience. I'm not saying being, you know, Mr. Intense and focused all the time, but, you know, you are trying to, you want to play at a high level, you are trying to improve at this skill set, you are trying to become a better baseball player. So I think that that means when you're watching a game on TV, even if it's just for a couple innings, you know, put yourself in those situations. Imagine, okay, if I was the hitter at the plate right now and you know we were just out on defense and X, Y, and Z happened, what am I thinking right now? Okay, he's down one, two in the count. What am I thinking? What has this pitcher been throwing? What are his weaknesses? What would I do here? What would I be thinking here? You know, imagine, okay, I'm playing shortstop right now. What am I thinking? Where am I going if the ball is hit to me? Or if I'm, you know, an outfielder. Where am I going? Am I going two bases ahead? You know, is this guy on second base? Is he a speedy runner? And all these things are things that you can think about, but you know, be a student of the game. Don't just sit back and passively watch it. You know, be active and try to be learning from every single game that you watch, and it's just gonna accelerate your development as a player. All right, and lastly, tip number five, the fifth and final thing that you can do to make 2021 really your best year ever is separate from your former self. And what I mean by separate from your former self is, you know, I always talk about if you are willing to do things that others are not willing to do, then you're going to start to believe that you deserve things that other players don't deserve, right? Because you're doing things that they're not willing to do. Well, take that approach into 2021. So you need to outwork everyone. You need to do a little extra, but outwork your previous self. In 2021, outwork your 2020 self. Do things that your 2020 self maybe wouldn't have done. And when you start to do that, maybe in 2020, you showed up to practice on time and you left on time, or maybe you showed up a few minutes early, but you didn't really consistently show up early and get extra work in after practice. You didn't do that, and maybe you only lifted weights once or twice a week. You weren't really focused on that either. Well, in 2021, if you make a decision to change, and if you make a decision that every practice, I'm gonna be 20, 30 minutes early, I'm gonna be there 20, 30 minutes after practice, and I'm gonna lift weights not once or twice a week, I am lifting four or five times a week religiously, that's what I'm doing, and you follow that up with action, you actually start to do that, well, your 2021 self is literally your habits that you're instilling. They're better than your 2020 habits. And so you can use this to your advantage. You can work harder than your 2020 self. And your 2021 self is going to realize, hey, I deserve to have a better year this year because I'm making sacrifices my 2020 self would not be making. Okay, so I know you get the point here. You want to do this with everybody else. You see what the average players are doing. And if you want to be above average, you need to do more. You need to work smarter. You need to work harder. But also make 2021 the year that you separate from your former self. You do things that your former self wouldn't do. You work harder, you work smarter, and you have a better year because of it. So that's it. Five things any player can do to have a better 2021. I wish you nothing but success in the new year. Hopefully you have a great season, your best one yet. If these tips were helpful, please leave a like. Do it right now. Hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Help the channel out. Subscribe and hit that notification bell right now. That way you're notified whenever we release new videos. And last thing, hitters, I put together a free resource for you. It's called the contact point checklist. What I've done is I freeze frame the baseball swing at the point of contact, when you're making contact with the ball, and I've highlighted a few key areas that you wanna make sure your swing has 
if you're looking to maximize your bat speed and power and your consistency at the plate. So it's gonna help you out and it's free. It's 100% free. So just click on the link down below. You can download that right now. It's gonna help you go into 2021 strong. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.